hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is crafty bees and here we are with this lovely lovely creation in this video i'm going to do a full review of uh, glitter planet products um some of the products that i bought well i bought quite a lot but I've, i'm only um doing a few of them today um right so uh, thank you guys for being here and let's get started we are going uh, never mind okay right so i am using the products that i use all of them will be linked in the description box below um but i do have to say that this is a, not a sponsored video so the products that i used i bought them myself and uh, the company well didn't ask me to do a review on them so that's uh, you know this is my honest truth opinion 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 <laughs> okay um right so you are also here to watch me do my nails so i am coming in with my base coat i did do my prep work before um starting the video because i thought um you guys already saw this or if not i have a um, video specifically on prep work and step by step for a DIY so yes I'm coming in with my base coat here I'm curing that and then coming in with my extension so um, I think I chose to do different sort of styles on each nail to be fair um, different ways of putting the builder gel on different ways of um, adding those beautiful glitters on and um, that just that's just there to show that um, either way you work it's it's a it's a good way so there's no wrong way as long as you do the preparations correctly there is no wrong way to add well there probably is but <laughs> I'm just saying I don't know what I'm saying yeah so any different ways any ways you actually add your gel on it's fine so <laughs> And with the extension the same for example most of the nail techs will say do a very thin extension i don't do mine very thin well i it depends for example if i do like this one here this is a see-through um transparent um extension because i want to put the glitters on but the other one the previous one i didn't actually need to do it that thin because i'm literally coming in with a bulk and if you know your your gel then you know if it cures or it doesn't cure uh, with the amount of layer that you've added I know mine cures very well so um, I've added a bigger amount on my extension anyway coming in now with the glitter planets products I am in love with these I every single nail I do I want to incorporate these glitters in I they're so beautiful and high class I can't describe in any other words besides uh, wow they're they're amazing the the quality on these are great and yes oh god right so i am in love with all of them and uh, this one is a uh, beautiful i'm gonna do a design a set just with that and yes but i've got literally i'm you know i'm, I'm a color crazy person i love i love colors of all shapes sizes and everything else um, yeah I'm just showing you here about two of the same which I think that was my mistake to be honest uh, but you know what with glitters and colors you never go wrong there we go so I'm just showing you the products the qualities the I don't know the shimmer the shine the I, I'm in love with these guys if you can afford and you know what they're not expensive at all um, I don't think they are anyway I don't know maybe in in you you've found some cheaper ones somewhere um, but the quality on these are amazing so if go check check out their website it they're amazing so the, the website is literally on all the stickers that I'm showing you here it's glitterplanetuk.com um, but I'm pretty sure I'm not pretty sure they might have glitterplanet.com so yeah Anyway, I showed you the, the, the ones I chose to do in this set and uh, I am coming in now with a see-through extension. Uh, so the other one I cured it without adding the um, glitters 
stuff, mylar stuff in. But this one, I decided to... Yeah, I was struggling a little bit with my uh, extension. So this one I decided to not cure and add straight away. It is a, a little bit of a struggle, but not not that much there. I'm just literally adding them in and then I'm just sort of pushing them in there so they don't pop out. Because at the end I'm going to have to come in with a see-through um, builder gel on top, you know, to just, um, what do you call it, encapsulate? Yes, to encapsulate them and then file and shape as I want. So here I've literally mixed all of them. I've added my butterflies, I've added my, uh, what is it, blue, purple, pink uh, and white um, dots and yeah. So that's what I'm going to do here. I haven't sped it up, but if you guys want to speed up, please do. I did, I did, I mean, I did speed up, but literally by a tiny bit. Because I think it's very important to see how easy it is to work with them as well. So here is me coming in with, uh, what am I coming in with? My uh, translucent, transparent builder gel and giving it shape, apex and the whole shabam and I'm curing that for 60 seconds in my L U LED lamp, UV lamp, it's a mixture of both so I'll leave the description uh, there, I'll leave the link to my um, lamp in the description bo box because I think this lamp is amazing I've had it for more than two years and it is going strong I've been using it I think every single day and let's say for the past six months I've used it every other day but yes it's it's a great product now I'm coming in with uh, my thumb and um, this one I really liked I really really liked if you see if you saw the intro right at the beginning of the video you saw that this one is sort of um, uh, what do you call it an ombre effect so it's glitter at the tips with the um, beautiful uh, butterflies and then coming in with a pink builder gel um, and sort of, I don't know, you'll see in a minute. I'm really bad with explaining guys, um, but I'm so glad I can actually do a video on it because if I had to actually speak every bloody detail I'm doing, I would not manage. <laughs> I think I'll just confuse everybody. Yes, okay, so um, yeah, this is uh, this is the process that I'm doing. But guys, I swear I have not had a product that I, I don't know. It's easy to work with. It is a great, great quality. Some of them are thicker in um, in size, thicker in size, thicker in in depth. I don't know. They're thicker. Yeah. So some of them are thicker which means you do have to have a very very thin extension or a very thin layer over your nail to add them on and then build um, builder gel on top to, to encapsulate but the ones i'm using in these videos are thin so there's no problem with that now here is i'm coming in with my pink builder gel and sort of doing it sparingly and only halfway of course, we're gonna make it um, sort of. What what are we gonna make? We're gonna like make it one with the extension. There, see, that's what I mean. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. So after this, I'm gonna have to encapsulate all my nails, and I'm gonna do that with my um, see through clear translucent I always say see-through it's it's clear trans uh, is clear builder gel okay clear builder gel okay so um, I'm gonna encapsulate all of them um, and create my apex because we need to create that apex otherwise the nails are pretty long and they will definitely snap we don't want them snapping right in this one I decided to put put this um, beautiful blue shimmer beauty I don't know it's I'm gonna do a review on that specifically later on but it's from magpie so I'm gonna do some magpie product review next um, this is a dust and it's called sky yay so I'm adding in sky but I will do a proper review later on 
in uh, probably next week yes um, okay so now as you see this was a bit different so what I did is I cured my extension I cured my gel and then I've put the um, the, the shimmer the, the shimmer and the uh, butterflies after that so obviously they didn't have anything to stick on so it was a little bit of a struggle to keep them in place but not that much if you can see they have not moved all that much I think only one out of all of them um, actually moved from where I've put it to somewhere else and it didn't uh, well actually yeah, one did stick out I'm gonna show you in a minute um, right so I'm just gonna show you that curing that now this one I think this is the one I love the most I don't know why it's simple it's elegant and it is well it was the simplest one I think I well it's, all of them were simple I don't know what I'm saying anyway um, let's see yeah so I'm adding all my all of these um, beautiful glitter planet products on the whole nail sorry I was a bit out of zoom out of zoom <laughs> out of frame on that one but I'm back now um, yeah so I'm adding all of them on the nail including the butterflies the whites the pinks the blues um, purples the whole shebang and I think this one came out great in this video by the way I'm showing you some of my filing routine I don't know if I showed all of it I need to I need to recheck but anyway don't know if I showed all of it but I, I am showing you and if you want to skip that just um, I'll add in my description or maybe on screen somewhere um, how to skip ahead you know skip over that or just skip you can easily skip with YouTube is great you can skip what you don't like what you don't want to watch or what you don't have time to watch just skip ahead for the good parts there so I'm just uh, showing you here I'm buffing buffing I'm filing and shaping my thumb I don't know why I started with that I normally start with my pinky finger but this time I, I said okay what the hell and it's yeah my the thumb was the easiest one to shape I think that's why anyway anyhow anywho continuing now so I'm just shaping 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 and I'm coming in with my electric file hey that was right on point <laughs> and I'm giving it a shape and I at, at one point I thought this was too long so I filed it there you go I'm filing it down a bit because I thought it was a bit too long for me and I wanted them to actually be on the same uh, length and I kept looking at my middle finger and going back and forth and anyway yes so this is the filing routine guys I am going to stop talking for a little while even though it's not going to be very excuse me very very long um, because well you know I skip ahead but the most important thing well see I'm not leaving you now the most important thing is this bit over here I I don't know if you can and you, you can afford to invest in one of these do it you need to have a very very thin gel by the cuticles that's how you manage to not have any sort of air in between your natural nail and the uh, gel if they're very very thin at the edge at the edge no at the cuticles if you can see there it I do have product there it may look like I don't but I do have product there it's just a very minimal amount in some of them I probably filed it off but you're not gonna notice once you're uh, you've put the top coat on because it is a very nice transition from the nail bed to the um, builder builder gel okay now I'm, I, I didn't know I thought I'll add some extras but I kind of just stopped at this so I've just done a tiny bit of builder gel right uh, builder gel no spider gel right if you can see on my middle finger you'll see in a minute I have something that's sort of poking up one of the butterflies as I filed it is literally just poking outwards so what I did is I've put my um, top coat and then I I cured it and then I filed sort of buffed not filed but buffed uh, that area to remove the the sticking out bit because we don't want that but yes that that's it that was that was the only issue I had 
and this is this is me showing you I'm just topping it off and then curing it and then filing it and then topping up again I am like a, one of those broken records aren't I just talking and talking and talking and explaining the same thing but anyway this is me okay now I'm gonna stop I will stop talking now okay I'll, I'll come back I'll, I'll come back in a bit Right, I know I didn't leave you for long, but um, I am almost at the end. I was just wondering, do you have these products? What do you think of them? Um, I don't know. I'm so pleased with them. But anyway, do let me know if you want. <laughs> There's my son, Pika, booing me. <laughs> anyway, let me know if you have any um, requests, um, any reviews you'd like me to do on any products. I will try and get those done. But this is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you haven't subscribed yet, yet please consider doing so. And uh, for those who have subscribed and are part of my family, thank you so much. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Bye.